It was quite the event the last few days with the Hartnell MacArthur Holtby, such a mouthful, Celebrity Golf Classic. <laughs> it wrapped up last night That's or right. over the last few days, but a uh, lot of fun. We went to the auction last night and definitely heard a lot of money being raised for the charity. It was insane. Nothing around my price range, unfortunately. No, no. But you know what? All the money <laughs> going to worthy causes within the city of Lloydminster. Hey, uh, after a round of golf, of course, the third annual Hartnell MacArthur Holpe <laughs> Celebrity Golf Classic. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> wrapped up last night at the Stockade. You know, that they had the supper. You mentioned the silent auctions, live auctions, and a cool performance by Dallas Smith. He was actually pretty solid, I have to admit. Matt Schumont has more on last night's banquet. The third and final Hartnell MacArthur Holpe Celebrity Golf Classic all started off on Monday with a welcome barbecue followed up by an autograph signing. And after a great day of golf, the two-day event was once again a big success. You couldn't ask for anything better. The big concern again, it seems like every year, is the weather. Woke up this morning at 5.30 and it's a 90% chance of rain and we went through the whole day. We got off the course at 4 o'clock and maybe had six drops of rain on us. So that helped. Uh, celebrities had a good time. The sponsors and their guests had a great time. 60 celebrities were at this year's event. The committee says the tournament couldn't be what it is without the celebrities. The host of the event, however, are quick to bounce back the thanks to the committee. The volunteers that put in hours and hours and hours of work, it's just incredible. And uh, to set up this thing, to get the golf, to get the sponsors, to get the memorabilia here on the silent auctions and things like that, it's um, it turns into a great event. Without those three gentlemen, you know, their contacts and the contacts we've built over the first two years, I think is a credit to their personality and what we've done in the past as far as putting on a first class event. Uh, our celebrities are always wanting to come back because of how well they're treated and, and how well they're received by the community and, and the people they golf with and, and part of. So Now this is the final year of the event, but with three solid years in the books, there is a possibility of getting a fourth Hartnell MacArthur Holpe Celebrity Golf Classic sometime down the road. We'll take a couple of years off and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let these oil guys make some more money and uh, we'll come back and try and take some more. So, uh, you know, it's, you know, maybe a year or two away. I think we need a little breather and, uh, you know, I, I think it just makes it that much more exciting when you can take a couple of years off and then, uh, you know, and restart the thing. In the future, if we feel like we can, uh, you know, it, it, if it has enough buzz to, to go around the community, community that we can do it again, I think um, we'll find enough people that are willing to do it. Matt Schumont, New Cap Sports. The Stanley Cup was handed out on Monday, of course. Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks beat the Boston Bruins in six games. And with that, the New Cap Sports team wrapped up its own pool. So who came out on top? Hmm. All right, so the Stanley Cup final is in the books. And Chicago Blackhawks have emerged as the 2013 Stanley Cup champions. And, of course, literally the best team. They were the President's Trophy winners. They had the best record. They were phenomenal all year long. And they are the winners. And a big, big congrats to Moses, who actually, he was clutch. He came from behind. He was in second place, only one to pick Chicago in 6-2, and actually beat... Kyle, if we look at the scoreboard, he beat Kyle by one point, so not bad. Moses, you are our winner. Kyle was in second with 14, Matt with 11, me bringing up the rear with a good old eight points, and I would like to point out that my downfall was predicting how many games it would go in a series, because really, I was only one series off of Matt, so whatever I can say to make myself feel better, that's pretty much what it is. All right, so what does the champion have to say about the season he's had so far? All right, make sure I don't uh, pull out Andrew Shaw and start swearing left, right, and center, eh? That's beautiful. What can I say? It's, it's surreal. You know, I, I came in this one, uh, all you ask is to be right in the hunt. It's, it's one of those things, it's just haters are going to hate. You know, I've, I've learned to expect that. And I, you know, to quote, uh, to quote LeBron James, so to speak, uh, you know, I'm just a kid from Yorkton, Saskatchewan. And now I'm here. Nobody expected it. You know, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. So, you know, it's fine with me. Everything is up. It's beautiful. Haters gonna hate. I did not see how that was gonna be edited, but uh, I like it nonetheless. That guy's got some pizzazz. I know Nerman enjoyed that one, didn't she? There you go. All right, uh, and a quick note today, the CPCA has announced the cancellation of tonight's event in Onion Lake Cree Nation to allow 
for further track maintenance. The championship format will now start tomorrow and wrap up on Sunday. That's your first look at sports. Gerard will have your weather details after the break. In the NSRBL tonight, the Standard Hill Lakers are in the Border City to take on the top team in the league, the Border City Blue Jays, who are on a seven-game win streak. The Meadow Lake Sox will face Lloydminster Midgets. Elsewhere, Mervyn will visit St. Wahlberg, and that's the other contest. That's all the time we have for sports. We'll have more news and weather coming up.